President Donald Trump says he's looking at, quote, redoing NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. He says the current trade deal with Mexico and Canada is unfair to American workers. I have very serious concerns about NAFTA. NAFTA has been a catastrophe for our country. It's been a catastrophe for our workers and our jobs and our companies that are leaving our country. I want to change it. The president made those comments during a meeting with Harley Davidson executives and union representatives. Mexico says it's willing to negotiate changes but won't accept import quotas or other trade barriers. Fox 4's Sean Rapp today sat down with the former U.S. Trade Ambassador Ron Kirk, former mayor of Dallas as well. You talked with him about a number of things. He was involved in TPP, the Trans-Pacific right. Partnership, and knows a lot about NAFTA as well. So I imagine he shared a lot with you of his thoughts here. He did. And in a nutshell, Steve, he said that, first of all, taxing imports uh, from Mexico to pay for the border wall that's been talked about mm -hmm. and tearing up the trade agreement like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, in the words and opinion of Ron Kirk, bad for business, especially Texas business. Trade is huge for our economy. Former U.S. Trade Ambassador Ron Kirk thinks President Trump's tough talk on trade is wrong for Texas. We lead the country in exports. Uh, we probably lead the nation in the number of jobs tied to trade. The president, though, has threatened to tax goods from Mexico to the U.S. by 20 percent to help pay for the promised border wall. Kirk doesn't like it. The one thing that's certain, these other countries don't just sit back and go, oh, woe is us. They're going to retaliate. Every time we have taken trade steps that were deemed to be negative or protective of our U.S. industries, another country has retaliated and some other industry was hurt by that. So that's one of the reasons I think it's, it, it's such a bad idea. Last week, President Trump pulled America out of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, a trade agreement with 11 countries. Great thing for the American worker, what we just did. Ron Kirk disagrees. Contrary to what most people have been sold, most of these trade agreements are decidedly to our advantage because we're reducing tariffs on American goods from sometimes 75 to 125 percent down to almost zero. So that means they can afford to buy what we're selling. We're already buying their stuff. Kirk feels like pulling out of the TPP will not help but hurt American workers. If you're an American farmer, rancher, business person, manufacturer, we're still going to have to sell our goods at greatly uh, 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 increased tariffs versus our competitors. And you know what's going to happen on that. We lose. And despite everything that we've heard through the political campaign season, Ron Kirk uh, says that the American economy is still the most dynamic economy in the world. Mr. Kirk, a Democrat serving the Obama administration, don't know how that factors into his, his thoughts. Let me ask you a question, though. Did, w when you hear Mexico saying, okay, we're willing to renegotiate, does he respect that, that movement? Well, but he also thinks the renegotiating means a tax on what we're going to sell a them. Bad deal yeah. Right. You know, understand, oil from Mexico is the biggest factor that comes in here, gets refined, goes back to Mexico, comes back here as plastics, comes back here as parts for computers, comes back here in many different fashions, stuff that we, uh, Mr. Kirk feels, would also be hit with a tariff on. All right. Thank you. Sean okay. Rapp, thanks.